I'm Ryan, and my life is average. Okay guys, so it's been a little while since I've been able to just relax and tell you guys a good old story. And a lot of you guys have been requesting another story time video from me, so I figured today would be the perfect day because last week I got super drunk. I was hung over for two days. It sucked. I ate nothing but carrots and celery. I don't want that to happen for a little while, okay? Until my views are running low. Then I'll do another one because you guys really wanted to see that. But for now, Here's a story. So this story has to do with my good friend, Kean Lolly. Now my friends, as you've seen on the channel many times, Kean and JC, they've been nice enough to have me at their home uh, and, and different places throughout my friendship with them. They're very gracious guys. And last year, around this time, I stayed at Kean and JC's uh, beautiful house in Los Angeles. And it was a whole crazy week of just things and mouse traps and crazy stuff and I had a blast. Now, quick backstory, okay? I am a hypochondriac. If you don't know what that is, it's somebody that worries about their health. Like if I get a cut, I think it's gonna get infected and I'm going to die. If I get a headache, I think I'm going to have a brain tumor. That's literally the way I am. And I've been like that ever since I was a little kid because my mom would always freak me out whenever I was sick. If I had a sore throat, it was immediately strepped. It was nothing else. If I had any type of issues, we had to go to the doctor and she would make me go crazy. So. I have developed those fears and that will play into effect in this story. So we shot a video on my friend Dom's channel where you basically are blindfolded and you put your hands out of a bucket and you don't know what it is and a couple of the items were cockroaches, okay? So after the video was done, Kian, being the manipulator that he is, was like, hey, I'll pay you $500 to eat that cockroach. And me, being broke as hell, was like, oh my god, that could pay like rent? What? So I pandered it for a little bit and I decided, okay, you know what? I'm going to eat this cockroach. What's the worst that can happen? I've seen Bear Grylls do it. Okay, I've seen Survivor Man do it. My dad's probably done it because he's a badass. I can do this. But then I started looking on Google, got all these weird things, okay? You can have weird larvae, you can have infections, you can have all this weird stuff. You never know. But I was like, you know what? $500, that's like... 80 burritos from Chipotle. That's a lot of burritos. And I wanted to eat those burritos, so I said yes. Oh, I ate the cockroach. I bit it in half and then I put the other half in and then I just chewed it and swallowed it. And there you go. I was given $500 and I felt great. I stepped up to the plate, I came through, I didn't bitch out. So that was cool. Okay, my excitement then slowly started to decrease because I was like, okay, I just ate a cockroach, I'm worried. And Kian knew I was a little worried because I kept saying, oh, am I gonna get sick from this? And I'm like, ah, you should be fine, blah, blah. All right, whatever. So then flash forward like 20 more minutes. Kian was like, hey, do you want to go to the store with me? I was like, yeah, awesome. That'd be cool. I wanted to get a water, get whatever that was inside of me, out of me, and just not think about the fact that there might be cockroaches crawling inside of my stomach, which was terrifying me. So we're getting in his car and it's about, I don't know, a 20 minute drive. And I start, you know, to slowly just kind of feel hot. Nothing crazy, it's LA, okay, it's probably like 90 degrees, but you know, not just hot on my, but like my back. My back started feeling really hot. Just not too bad, but a little bit. So I started slowly, just, okay, whatever. And I kind of moved up a little bit and King would just look at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? And a big, eh, nothing, you know, whatever. And then like a couple minutes went by and then, man, my legs, back of my legs, my ass, my back, really just felt awful. I mean, like, I was burning up. Burning up for you, baby. Shout out to the Jonas Brothers. But yeah, I was really feeling very hot and I was terrified. So then, that's when I started Googling and WebMDing, okay? I typed in, I ate a cockroach, now I feel hot. All, all these goddamn things are coming up saying, yeah, you're, you're, you're gonna die. You're, it's over, you're dead. You're already dead. If you're typing this, you're dead. You got some weird Malaysian virus. It's going through your body at this point. I'm looking at WebMD. It's just, it could be a spinal infection. I'm, I'm literally, I'm freaking out, okay? So I'm trying, Kian's in the car. I'm trying not to freak out because he's my friend. I don't look like an idiot, okay? I'm staying in his place, but I'm, I'm on my phone. Like you never see the gif of Kermit the Frog just typing away like crazy on the typewriter. That was me on my phone looking up things. So I'm freaking out. Then we go to the store, I get out of the car, back still a little hot. I go on, I quickly grab a water, I chug the water, chug the water. And I'm like, wow, you know what? Now I think about it, I got a little water in me. I ate a soft pretzel and a granola bar. And I was like, you know what? I, I started feeling better. My back wasn't as hot anymore, my legs. You know, I was like, you know what? 
that might have been just a fluke. Maybe I just needed to drink something. Maybe I was, I don't know. Maybe I was dehydrated. Maybe it was like a little allergic reaction. I kept thinking allergies, allergies, allergies. And so, okay. So get back into the car. Everything's fine. And then we start driving again. One, back. Now at this point, it is so hot. Look at Kian, once again, just staring at me like that I'm crazy. Back's hot, legs hot. So I'm like, Kian, dude. I think something's wrong. He's like, what do you mean? Like my back is on fire. Like I'm freaking out. My neck is on fire. Like my whole backside of my butt's like basically like I feel like I'm going paralyzed or something. So then my brain, it's all fucked up. When I think that something's bad, I can I can make myself sick if I need to, okay? I, can, I can't make myself food, okay? Can't make, can't make myself useful, but I can make myself sick and paranoid. So then I start getting like the chills and I start getting that weird anxiety where like then my whole body gets hot. I don't know if you guys get that, but when you get anxious, your whole body gets hot. So now my whole body is hot, but my back and my legs are legitimately on fire. Like I felt like I was laying on coals at this point, okay? I'm freaking out. So then I'm like doing, I'm doing the breathing and I'm trying to remain calm. It's like, you know, if you've ever been drunk in public or you've ever smoked or something and you're trying to act super normal and you're looking around like nothing, everything's fine, yep. Don't look at me, please don't look at me. So that was me. And then we're about two minutes away from Kean's place. And you know, he has a nice, nice car, nice leather seats and all that stuff. And I, I look down in, my, in the midst of my panic, in the midst of my thinking that I'm going to die that Kian Lolly possibly killed me because he made me eat this cockroach and now I have some sort of, I might have, I don't know, whatever virus is inside of me and now I'm going to die. I look down and I see a button with a little red, you know, it's red. And I see a little seat next to the red. And I thought to myself, what is that? So I flicked it up and then it went to blue. So I looked down and I realized that Kian had turned on his seat warmers. Started off slow, okay? Turned it real low on the heat. And then over time, as he saw me panicking, thinking I was going to die, turned up a little bit more, a little bit more, until the point where the seat warmers were all the way up, as Fat Joe would say. He almost killed me. So this whole time I think I'm dying, and all it was was goddamn seat warmers. See, see, I'm not rich. I don't, I don't, I don't have that stuff in my car. I didn't, I forget that stuff exists. Okay, I forget when I'm in LA. Everybody's, you know, walking around balling. I'm wearing shirts from Target, Mosimo. You guys know what I'm talking about. So that whole goddamn time, I think I'm gonna die. It was because Kian had seat warmers on. And then, but you know, finally, when I realize it and I look over at him, he just looks over at me and goes, "What?" Like, do you know the hell that you just put me through? Do you realize what you what you just did? And he just kind of grinned at me. Like, he was, he just grinned and just started cracking up. And I had the biggest sigh of relief because I realized I wasn't going to die. And it was just a luxurious seat warmer that in the winter time would probably have felt great. But in this time of chaos, it was terrifying. And I'm still alive. Sorry to the haters. I'm still here. So that is it. That is my story. Thank you, Kian, for putting me through that. I really appreciate it. Um, but I did get to pay my rent for that month. So that was really nice too. So thank you. But yeah, that was a story. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Little quick fun thing that happened to me. Um, I'm gonna do some more of these, don't worry. Cause I had a whole list of like six different stories that have happened over the last six months that I wanted to talk about to you guys because no one else listens but you and my dog. My dog doesn't talk back, but mentally I think that he listens and knows what I'm saying. And no one can tell me otherwise. So if you enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do. You guys, are the, you guys show me love all the time. If you can continue to do that, I'll continue to make videos and pay my rent. Give this video a thumbs up, please, if you will. And comment down below if you want to see any more story time videos. You can just say yes or no. It'll be a damn battle. It'll be the yes, yeah, no, 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 yes, fuck you, no, yeah. Just comment. Have fun. You can comment in other languages. See? I don't know anything else besides that. But that's fine. And if you're new here, subscribe. You guys know how to click the subscribe button. It's free. Just do it. But that's it for me, guys. As always, I will see you guys right here next Saturday. 
And hey, stay average. Get it!